Okay, so we're on day one of our standard two, which is angles. Ideas related to angles. So it's either in this green packet, or if you're an online only student, it's a white packet just looking for the heading that says standard two. You can pause if you need to find that. Otherwise, we're going to the first page, which is called in class six, problem C. So in the problem, it says the measure of angle ABC is 100. So I've marked ABC as 100 degrees. So then, based on what we already know, if this is 100 and this side of the angle is 50, what's left over for this side of the angle? And we know that's going to be 50. So how do I write that? How do I say it? I say it like this. The measure of angle ABD equals 50. A few little bits of notation. This little M here means measure of. You haven't seen that yet in front of the angle, so that means measure of. And if two angles are equal to each other, we can mark the angles with arcs to show that those angles are equal. And we'll use that a lot more later on. Not super important now, but we'll introduce it now and talk about it a little bit more in standard three. Okay, so when a ray comes through an angle and creates two equal parts, that ray is called an angle bisector. So, an angle bisector is a ray in the interior of an angle that divides that angle into two equal parts. So, the two parts of this angle that are equal are the measure of angle ABD. So that's ABD and DBC. Okay, now those angles, when you write them, the B does have to be in the middle because that's the vertex, but the two letters on the outside can be switched around. Okay, or it could be defined as a ray that cuts an angle in half. So you could say that the measure of angle ABD is equal to half of the whole angle. So the whole angle is our ABC. So that was the 100. So this angle up here is half of 100. Now we didn't like using the one half, some of us, so we put a two in the front instead. So you could also do two times the measure of ABD is equal to the whole thing ABC. So this should feel very familiar. It should feel just like the segment addition that we were doing. So our general equation might look something like this. So two, so general equation means I'm using letters, not numbers. We're using the points and the notation then we're going to substitute what we know which we only knew that this was a hundred to begin with and then solve and find our answer so the measure of this angle that I didn't know when I started is 50 and what we're going to add into this is we're going to add in the fact that we now know that if it's a bisector, our reason here that we're going to add to our toolbox of reasons is definition of angle bisector. So let's turn the page and let's actually do one of these problems. We'll start with number two on the top. 
Okay, just like when we were using midpoint, if the problem has the vocabulary word in it, then the reason for my general equation is going to be definition of angle bisector. That's the easy part. The hard part is the general equation or the equation overall. So what I have in this equation is I have, or in the picture here, is I have this 2x plus 16. I have that. That's just this side of it. And then I have LKM, which if I highlight LKM, I see that that is the whole thing. LKM, that's this whole part. That is my 6x plus 10. So the first question I have would be, is 2x plus 16 equal to 6x plus 10? Okay, so the question is, is this side of it equal to the whole angle? And the answer is no. Okay. All right, we're going to pause. So then what we have to do to get them to be equal is we're going to multiply this side by two. We need two of these to equal the whole thing. Okay, and then we would solve that out. Now, I'm not too worried about the algebra behind this. Okay, so you go through, solve this, x equals 11. Good for us. Now, what I am worried about is the general equation. This is not the general equation. But as I've been working with students, it's been helpful for some students to start with the equation and then work backwards to get the general equation. So then my general equation would be 2 times, and then what is this? Where did this come from? Which angle did this come from? Well, that came from angle LKN. So I'll switch this out with measure LKN. Then the 6x plus 10, where did that come from? That came from the angle LKM. And that would be your general equation. Okay, let's do one more. Angle bisector. Okay, in the problem, it says bisects. So here I've got for my reason definition of angle bisector. You can start with the general equation if you want. If you start with the general equation, my assumption would be that this makes sense to you. So I'm doing the opposite for those who are still struggling with this. So when you're told that this is the angle bisector, it's kind of like it's the midpoint, what that tells you is that that is breaking this angle into two equal parts. So the two parts there are equal to each other. So if I were going to write an equation, my equation would be 2x plus 93 is equal to x plus 84. Now that's not my general equation, that's my algebraic equation, so can I get the general equation from this? Okay, so this 2x plus 93, let's look at the picture this time instead of going up. We could go up right here and get it from there. But this 2x plus 93 came from this angle, which is L A and A just has to be the middle letter. So the measure of angle LAN is equal to, and then let's find this one, which came from here, which is the measure of angle DAN. 
N. And that would be my general equation. If you went through to solve this, you would get x equals negative 9, which negative numbers and fractions can show up um, at any time. That's why we give you those um, answer possibilities on the homework sheet. So there is a decimal on the homework. So just angle bisectors is what we're working on tonight. And the next one we'll work on angle addition.